Today we're going to be talking about fractions that are greater than 1. As always, here is our standard for our current unit. Our learning goal um, is the same. We hope to recognize fractions as representing a part to whole relationship. All right, let's try one together. We still have to see how many equal parts one whole is broken into, but it's super important that we look and see what the problem is telling us so we know how much one whole is. We know that from here to here, that is one whole because it tells us. So we're going to start there and figure out how many equal pieces our one whole is broken into. We have one, two, three. Again, that becomes our denominator, the number on the bottom. We then have to go back and see how many um, parts total are shaded in, in the entire problem that they gave us. One, two, three, four, five. That number becomes our numerator. So our answer would be five thirds. This um, picture represents the fraction five thirds. Let's try another together. Again, we have to look and see how much our one whole is broken into. So from here to here, one, two, three, four. Again, that number becomes our denominator, our number on the bottom. To find our numerator, we need to see how many total parts are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six fourths is our answer for the fraction representing this picture. We know that four over four, one, two, three, four, four over four is equal to one. And we have two more, making this fraction greater than one, six fourths. You're going to try this fraction greater than one by yourself, as well as this fraction. See you tomorrow.